The Roswell man is giving game night a whole new spin. A hint, the board game might have something to do with aliens. News 13's Allison Martinez is live in Roswell with a look. It was just unbelievable. I mean, something we never expect to see in our little community. Hear from people who knew the victims of a killing spree. A former Lobo basketball star is finding himself in the middle of an international controversy. The president of his European basketball team has been getting... And it's going to be it hot. hot. Yeah. It's going to be a hot weekend. Yeah, very really hot. hot. If you are going to be doing anything outside, especially tomorrow, Father's Day. you are going to... Well, Father's Day looking a little bit better. Another car break-in had a different outcome because of two police officers. 88-year-olds Kendall and Jacqueline Hayes were on their way to Illinois but stopped in Albuquerque. High school students were rewarded today with a chunk of change and it was all for perfect attendance. The new car dealers of Albuquerque wanted to thank students for being at school every day. From KRQE came together at Casa Esperanza for its next Star Founders Day of Caring. Volunteers prepared and served dinner for 40 people. Family stay at a whole lot of buzz around the Botanic Gardens today, kicking off National Pollinator Week. At today's pollinator celebration, visitors learned about the importance of creatures like... Some good news on the Cajete Fire in the Jemez Mountains. It's now 55% contained. We've also learned it was started by a campfire. News 13's Rebecca... Ack the pitch, the Albuquerque Soul were back in action tonight, coming off of their first win of the year on Thursday. They took on the Colorado Rapids U23 at UNM Soccer Complex. A familiar...